Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Unsere Sendungen bieten viele Sprachen. Gehen Sie auf suprememastertv.com schrägstrich schedule. You won't have heard of mad carrot disease, but you've certainly heard of mad cow disease, uh, chicken pox and other diseases where bacteria, viruses get mutated and take host in humans. So there's that risk. Growing Green International Magazine. Interview with editor Tony Martin, vegan. Continue watching to find out more. In my opinion, children should be educated in animal welfare from elementary school. Everyone must be aware of what they are eating. Mauricio Garcia Pereira, Vegetarian. Today's show will be presented in Spanish and English, with subtitles in English, Arabic, Olasis, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, French, German, Hindi, Indonesian, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Es un placer estar acompañado de amigos tan compasivos como ustedes. Nobles espectadores, soy Francisco, de la ciudad históricamente rica de San Ignacio. Ustedes embellecen nuestro mundo con su amabilidad y los paraguayos rezamos para que sus vidas sean bendecidas con paz y abundancia. Bienvenidos a la revista Growing Green International, entrevista con el editor Tony Martin, vegano. Tony Martin es el editor de Growing Green International, una revista publicada dos veces al año por la organización benéfica educativa británica Vegan Organic Network. Establecida en 1996, Vegan Organic Network se esfuerza para que los alimentos se cultiven de manera vegánica, es decir, vegana y orgánica. Tuvimos el privilegio de entrevistar a Tony Martin sobre la revista Growing Green International de Vegan Organic Network y su visión vegánica progresista. Uh, the Vegan Organic Network is here to promote growing both on a personal scale, so people who want to grow in their home, uh, in their allotment, and also for um, helping commercial growers turn to a vegan organic um, growing method. The Growing Green magazine has been going 25 years. Uh, it's a 44-page um, color magazine dedicated to showing people how to do their own growing and what's happening in the growing veganic cuisine. The circulation of the Vegan Organic Network is around about 1,000 uh, printed issues, plus however many we send out electronically. Veganic gardening is grown without any pesticides or without any animal inputs such as manures, blood, bone, fish meal, etc. The ethics and principles of veganic gardening are to harm as little as we possibly can. Um, pesticides, herbicides obviously damage uh, insects and other creatures. Uh, and damages the environment generally, so we wish to avoid that. And by not using animal products, we don't contribute to the suffering that goes on with these animals in factory farms, etc. Tony Martin ha llevado un estilo de vida vegano compasivo durante más de 35 años. Uh, I went vegan because I was uh, appalled at the cruelty that goes on to animals. I had a dog and I wouldn't have eaten the dog. Uh, but later on I learned about the other benefits of being vegan, such as um, 
we were importing grain from Ethiopia at a time of famine to feed animals in this country, uh, which I thought was disgusting. And later on, I learned about the health benefits. Uh, I've been vegan since 1986, and I was vegetarian before that. Um, the only thing I regret is that I didn't go vegan earlier. Tony habla sobre el trágico daño causado por la crianza de personas animales, como ganado y el uso de productos de personas animales. Um, there are various benefits to avoiding animal products. Obviously, you're not contributing to the chain of cruelty that happens with um, using animals for food. The risks with uh, animal-based agriculture are that we are quite similar to animals, in biologically speaking, and diseases can be passed from animals to us. For instance, you won't have heard of mad carrot disease, but you've certainly heard of mad cow disease, uh, chickenpox and other diseases where bacteria, viruses get mutated and take host in humans. So there's that risk. Uh, there's also the risk of the animal manures containing large amounts of bacteria, which can cause salmonella, for instance, if um, salads, etc., aren't clean properly. Uh, commercial um, products and fertilizers can contain animal products such as slaughterhouse waste, blood, bone, fish meal, hoof and horn. And it's not just the fact that it's the um, suffering of the animal that goes in there, but a lot of these animals are treated regularly with antibiotics and other nasties, which will then end up in the food chain. Existen muchos métodos vegetales más seguros para fertilizar cultivos, como el compostaje vegano. You can buy commercial vegan compost, but a lot of people make their own from kitchen waste, uh, green waste that sometimes they can have themselves or they can collect from neighbors. I personally speak to my neighbors and they give me all their grass clippings and grass clippings are high in nitrogen, which is one of the important resources that we need for vegan compost. Um, basically, anyone can make their own. You can get composters from the council or buy them cheaply online or from your local stores. Turn vegan. Feeling so good? Yeah, that's the way, man. Dediquemos un momento a recolectar materia orgánica de origen vegetal para hacer abono. Volvemos enseguida aquí en Supreme Master Television. Bienvenidos de nuevo a la revista Growing Green International, entrevista con el editor Tony Martin, vegano. El señor Martin habla sobre el importante papel de las personas insectos en el crecimiento de los cultivos. Insects and worms in the garden um, can be very beneficial to growing. In nature there is a balance. Plants need good aerated soil, particularly for growth. They need both oxygen and water. And in highly compacted soils, which um, is what you get with commercial growing, where the soil life has been destroyed, it's very compacted. Um, worms, for instance, will, will pull a leaf down and make burrows into the soil and give you a nice aerated soil. So they are a great benefit to us growers. Obviously, um, bees are recognized as one of the main pollinators. Uh, in fact, there's an article in the last magazine all about the different types of bees and stuff. And we're looking at um, doing an article on um, other pollinators as well. So different pollinators pollinate different things. Uh, there's also wind-based pollination as well for certain things like sweet corn, for instance.
Tony Martin sugiere formas de cultivar en armonía con nuestros amigos de los reinos de los insectos y los animales. The pond is a great benefit to any garden with insects and encourages frogs. One of the ways you can do it is to grow your plants as plug plants uh, in a safety of somewhere and then bring them out when they're too large for the slugs, etc., to predate them. Uh, moats also work very well in that as long as the moat is wide enough to stop slugs reaching over, they will not cross the water and you have the benefit of your plants being watered at the same time. No dig appeals to vegans because you're not to harming animals. In nature, there are lots of transport systems that go on below the soil. Uh, for instance, nitrogen-fixing plants take sugars via fungi from other plants, and the nitrogen is transported to these other plants in a symbiotic relationship. By digging up the soil, we break this sort of relationship up. Um, so no dig has many benefits, basically, as well as saving you back. From a nutritional point of view, some of the easiest things to grow are things like spinach, peas, etc. I tend to grow stuff which uh, otherwise would have a lot of chemicals sprayed on them with large surface areas like leaves and broccoli, and they are some of the healthiest things that you can grow. But it's appropriate to whatever area you're in. So have a look, see what locally is good, but definitely leaves uh, are a very good one. La maestra suprema Ching Hai alienta con frecuencia el cultivo de productos orveganos, como en la siguiente conferencia impartida en el 2008 en Francia. Okay, so now you try to plant those vegetables that bear fruits, like beans, pumpkins and stuff, a cucumber. Those things that bear fruit and simple, easy, yeah? So it becomes a habit and then you will eat your own produce. And it's also good for the time being because we're short of food everywhere. It's good to be independent, okay? In case something happens, you will have sufficient food for yourself. Durante la pandemia de COVID-19, Vegan Organic Network está dando acceso abierto a todos los números de la revista Growing Green International para ayudar a las personas con acceso limitado a frutas y verduras frescas. En conclusión, Tony Martin tiene el siguiente mensaje. No matter what size garden you have got, or even if you just got a window box, have a try, um, see what you like, find foods you like, and try growing them first of all. Uh, whatever you do, you're helping your own health, um, you're helping the environment. Um, there is proof that certain bacteria in the soil are good for mental health. It helps stop depression. So whatever you do, get out there and do it. Be veg, grow green, save the planet. Agradecemos a Tony Martin por compartir su tiempo y su experiencia, así como al equipo de Growing Green International y Vegan Organic Network por sus nobles esfuerzos con recursos tan maravillosos que pronto anunciemos una era saludable y armoniosa con comida vegana orgánica para todos. Para saber más sobre Growing Green International, por favor visite veganorganic.net. Vegan, the embodiment of Jesus' teaching. Ha sido un placer tenerlos con nosotros, amables espectadores. A continuación viene el fantástico pueblo de los dragones voladores. Después de noticias de interés, aquí en Supreme Master Television. Que su vida esté llena de nobleza, amistad y maravillosa armonía. It's been a pleasure to have you with us, gentle viewers. Coming up next is the fantastic flying Draco lizard people, right after noteworthy news, here 
on Supreme Master Television. May your life be filled with nobility, friendship, and blissful harmony. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash UL.